Hello, welcome back to Tarantula Zone. Today we're going to be rehousing our piece of terrier Formosa that we picked up at the Western Invert Show. The theme for this enclosure is for it to look realistic, so it's going to have live plants in there, it's going to have potting soil as well as cocoa fibre, because obviously cocoa fibre has no nutrients, so plants can't really grow in them. Um, it's also going to include stuff that I find out in the forest that I'm going to go to, that's a couple of miles from our house. So yeah, so it's going to be a nice display piece. Let's get rehousing! This looks as good a place as any to uh, break the track and start walking through the forest. Hopefully we'll find some hidden gems, which of course by hidden gems I mean logs and bark and stuff, which will be perfect to use in an enclosure. Beautiful. So I found this uh, pretty sweet looking log. quite big, I don't know if it'll be too big uh, for the terrarium, but I can easily cut it up when I get back. And again, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but obviously before using anything that you pick up um, out in the wild, you need to treat it, whether that be hot water in a bath or something, or put it in the oven, depending on um, how big the item is. When you put it in the oven, make sure that you don't have the temperature too high, because you don't want to start a fire, but you want to kill off anything that might be lurking in there that could potentially infest your uh, collection oh i think you can hear that well that is a train going past just found this fallen tree um that had a lot of bark that was basically falling off it managed to prize it off and loads of little centipedes came scurrying out unfortunately i couldn't get them on camera and they were super fast but um, yeah, fallen, fallen dead trees like this are perfect places to find uh, most of the interesting invertebrates that we have in the UK, which is cool. Okay, this is just a summary of what I've picked up uh, so far. Unfortunately, because I've just been dropped off here, I don't have a backpack or anything on me. I don't have a car waiting for me. So I can only bring back as much as I can carry even though it looks like I've got a like a medieval, well, pre-medieval like sword and shield or something. Um, but yeah, so I'll be take, taking those back and uh, treating them and hopefully they don't disintegrate as soon as they hit the sun or as soon as they hit the hot water as I clean them. Just gonna have a quick break to enjoy the view. It is quite beautiful around here. My uh, my level 10 World of Warcraft sword and shield is becoming a little bit cumbersome to carry around through these forests. I've still got probably two to three kilometers left until I manage to get home. And it is, well, we're in the heat of the day at the moment. No, it's gotta be about 30 degrees, which in some countries may, may not seem a lot, but 30 degrees centigrade in England, when it fluctuates so often, it uh, catches you off guard, you know? But it's really, really beautiful around here. We quite often see damselflies and dragonflies and um, like rare birds around here, which is cool.
thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as it's something a little bit different, uh, a little bit of a twist on the enclosure building. Um, hopefully all the plants do well in the enclosure and don't die within a week because that would really suck. And hopefully the Formosa um, enjoys living in there because it is massive, a massive enclosure um, and there's a lot of places to hide in that. We'll be posting updates on our Instagram over the following weeks if you want to keep up to date with uh, with this enclosure. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>